Well, all right, y'all. It is time for a dish debate. Dish debate. Dish debate. Dish debate. Dish debate. Let's go. Now, let's take it to these hootie streets. Yeah. Now, hooters heard the hooting and hollering from their female servers and is now backtracking from the uniform mandate that waitresses trade in. They're already short shorts for the new stone style of shorts that they were looking at. Now, company reps shared that they are now giving them the option to choose from the traditional uniforms or the new ones, which I think is kind of cool because not everybody has the butt for that. Mm. Now, Santa, how do you think uh, hooters should have handled it, homie? Should they have backtrack or just stick to their rules? Man, I, let me let me tell you guys something. If you guys handed me a pair of shorts like that to wear this morning, you'd be seeing dish new booty. Like, I would commit fully to this. <laughs> <laughs> but with these things, it's like, now if I take Jeffrey, it's going to be happy ending and chicken wings. Yeah, the hooters girls are known for having big boobs and buns. I mean, even if it's no but buns, Brad, they're known for showing it. And what? Have you been in a hooters <laughs> Lately, Brad, they wear their shorts look like Richard Simmons shorts when he was exercising. <laughs> the, you know, and, and I'm gonna tell you, it's a man. As it it's should a man be. that came up with these thongs because those things are really uncomfortable. Thongs are not uncomfortable, Sherry. I wear thongs all the time, so they're not uncomfortable. They are Ooh, very Lord. comfortable, and they give you space and air to breathe, so they're very comfortable. Hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.